This lesson deals with supplemental problem 217. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 16. Given this circuit, can we solve for the voltage V0 by using source transformations? So let's start at the left hand side and work our way to the right and see if we can simplify this circuit. So here I've got a voltage source in series with a resistance. I can transform that into a parallel current source and parallel resistance between these two nodes. The one volt divided by one K is one milliamp. The current source is going to point towards where the plus sign was. So it's towards this node. And then what's in parallel with that is the one K and then the two K that's here from the circuit. Now we can add current sources in parallel. If they're pointing in the same direction, we're just going to add their values. So that would be a current of one milliamp with a sign change to minus one milliamp. So that added to three would give me two milliamps. Product over sum would be two K times one K over two K plus one K, and that's two thirds of a thousand. Now I could do a source transformation again with these two. I have a parallel current source, parallel resistance. We take the product of these two, so two milliamps times two thirds K, the milli and the K cancel, and I get four over three volts. Now again, the, the plus sign of the voltage source will be located where the current arrow is pointing towards. That would be towards the bottom here. We also create a new node by doing this series combination. It doesn't affect our problem. We're trying to solve for this voltage over here. But now we just got three resistors in series and a voltage. So I could add up these resistances and divide that into the voltage and I get the current in this direction. Okay, so 4K plus 3K plus 2 thirds K times I would be equal to 4 thirds volts. Let's find a common denominator here. Say it's three. This would be 12 plus nine plus two. And it's 23. The threes cancel. And the current then would be four divided by 23K. And using my calculator, I found that was 174 microamps. If I want to find the output with this polarity. I need to find the current in this direction. But that's the negative of the current we just found, I. So we take then the negative of this, minus 174 microamps, and multiply that by 4K, we'll get the voltage V0. And that turns out to be a minus 696 millivolts. And this is supplemental problem 217.